with Starbucks' announcement to phase out single-use plastic straws by 2020 is enormous. And it's not just locally, company-wide they've made that announcement. McDonald's has been looking into paper straw alternatives. We should be seeing those later this year for all of their U.S. stores. That's amazing. When businesses step into that fold to really take the lead from government who are saying, we don't want these things in our waste stream, it's awesome and everybody wins. Part of you know phasing out all of these different single-use petroleum-based plastic items was really to find suitable alternatives. People are running businesses, right? And us as customers, we wanna make sure that if you're getting a to-go box, it holds the food properly. If you have utensils, that they're gonna do the job and help you eat your food. If it's gonna be a straw, it's gonna get the liquid to your mouth. So over the last 10 years, different materials have gotten better. And the city passed the ordinance a long time ago, but the director of the department was allowed to grant exemptions to it. And we were able to get exemptions because the original cutlery didn't work very well. So if you used a knife, the serrations broke off. And if you put the original biodegradable spoons in chowder, it melted and it dribbled chowder down your front. And the tines on the forks broke in the food. So it took the industry five or six years to get stuff that actually works. We want to get the plastics out of the water because we rely so much on fish and we don't want fish eating plastics. And more and more outside the region will adopt these standards as well. As you know, everything innovates on the coasts and it moves to the Midwest. We're on the leading coast as usual.